Alright, Ark signed in, and yeah, been looking forward to playing this. I can remember having so much fun playing this. Can't remember the mechanics, definitely can't remember how it controls or anything. I can just remember the gameplay being just ridiculous. Um, yeah, this is the remastered version, One Giant Step on Mankind. I'm not sure if that was the original title for the game. Um, it says here as well, uh, Presence Acquired, Terrify Humans for the Holidays. I'm not sure if there's like a ton of like new content that they've put in it. Um, more than obviously what was in the original game, but we'll jump straight into this. And um, if you enjoy the video, give it a like. Feel free to drop a comment down below. And if you want to see more of my videos, just give me a sub. Just make sure you ding the little bell so you get notified when I do upload more content. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's game on. So we'll switch over to gameplay and uh, we'll accept that. New skins. Okay. I can't remember skins in the original game. Um, Everything's set to ultra. Windowed full screen. And I'll leave it at that for now. And yeah, we'll just go straight to new game. Empty slot. There's Crypto. At least I think, I'm sure that was his name. Humans of planet Earth, be advised. While the experience has been upgraded, the content and historical record of the original invasion of the Furons remains a near identical clone. The story, words, and images contained within may be shocking to the modern human race, I believe that last word was. Didn't give me enough time. Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space? What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? Systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby. Show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait. Stop the countdown. I'm pretty sure I remember this being from the second one where there's a military base at the beginning. I don't know. So I'm sure there, there was a destroyer of humans too. I'm sure there was. I'm pretty sure it started off on a military base like this. Or, a, well, yeah, military base. I'm pretty sure that the first one started on a farm. Oh, look at them things on the back of his head moving. That's. <laughs> Grim. Incompetent fool. I should never have sent you. <laughs> What's shaking, Pox? Oh, there's Crypto. You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this, but the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him, Crypto-136, to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't <laughs> jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. <laughs> so daft. The second one. <laughs> 
Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. <laughs> patience. I take your point. <clears throat> Prepare the mothership. Now, obviously, I... that's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination, the planet Earth. Now, I can't remember the audio in the original game, but it sounds like they've just copied it from the old one. To be honest, you know, instead of like um, going over the recorded dialogue. Which is nice, if that's what they've done, to be honest. Because I guess that, that, that's part of the nostalgia for people that did play this when it was out on the... Uh, was it PS2? PS2, I'm sure it was. Right. Um, what is all this? Welcome to my little laboratory. You may not have known this, but I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. In my spare time, I've been developing some truly impressive weapon and ability upgrades. I'd be happy to share them with you. If you've got something for me in trade, say some of that delicious DNA you Delicious. Hmm? Okay. Uh, right, so these are all your upgrades. And then source upgrades, because well, you do actually get to fly your saucer around as well, which is awesome. Um, sorry if you didn't want that as a bit of a spoiler kind of daft really for that to be a spoiler but yeah um so new mission turnip seed farm there we go i knew it started on a farm <laughs> i can't wait to jump into this i love this honestly hmm. i don't know i might yeah, i might not find it as fun as i used to i think i was like what was that i must have been about 13, 14? I can't remember how old I was. I'm just trying to remember all the strange things you can do in this. I'm pretty sure you could probe people and control them. I can't remember. It's so weird. I can remember throwing cows around now. <laughs> Seems to be a strange frame rate. Book. Lovely. Uh. Orthopox to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto, to ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. <laughs> Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. <laughs> now, Cryptosporidium! Why, why would that be? I, I don't get that. Crypto, do verify your suit is working under Earth's atmospheric conditions. Get a move on! Seems fine. Ooh, feels nice. Alright. The graphics are nice. Really nice. We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains. 
Milo? Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. <laughs> Primitive, yet profound. Again with the moo? I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. <laughs> so stupid. They eat with their mouths? Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. <laughs> Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. At this time, we wish to appoint you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. Yeah, don't you have like four stomachs? With your arms have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis, Crypto. Target an object or creature, then lift it into the sky. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Slam them into the ground. <laughs> so sick. I'm not a good kind of sick either. Curse these creatures. <laughs> good work, Crypto. <laughs> oh, God. Mm, Martha, you didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner. Wait a minute, that ain't steak, that's... Holy mother of... Martha, give me the shotgun! This looks like a job for the Zapomatic. Fry that farmer! Ah! Extract and collect the brainstem from what's left of the agricultural engineer. <laughs> agricultural engineer. You can consume the brainstem and collect the Furon DNA. Nice. Lovely. Harold, come on back. You gotta see this. They got a talking horse on the TV. I ain't never seen nothing like. <laughs> ah! Little green spaceman. Ah! I am not green. <laughs> right. Uh, shields, bloody blah, blah. Be merciless. Okay. Let none survive. Oh yeah, I remember that a lot, like being called a commie. Turnip seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. Little green spaceman! What oh, is that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big old crypto! That uh, human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space time continuum. All right, let's go deal with that issue. Ironity. Vaporize them, crypto. Watch fuel up. I can't actually see fuel up to be honest. Come here, you! My radar is more approaching. Hurry to the saucer! 
Right, yeah, how do I? That's it, that's how I get it back. Where'd the other one go? Oh, here it is. Here we go. Right. Just jump in here. Take a spin in your saucer. Get a feel for the controls and then go ahead and start. So cool. Destroy all buildings. Leave no trace. Death Run those monkeys back to the Stone Age. <laughs> Silo Farmhouse So cruel I like the look of the ship as well, the saucer. It looks amazing. It's like the little details on it. Is good as gold. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Oh, okay. great. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them now. Open fire. Yes, <laughs> reason the death row. I hereby give you official permission to destroy all humans. <laughs> Wait, what's that? LB. What? Oh, I've only got a death rate at the moment. Looks like there's, uh, there's two others Sonic Boom and Quantum Deconstructor. Let's go with that. Oh, I've got to wait for my energy to recharge now. Look out! There are more to the north in the bushes. Replenish your Where? saucer oh. shields by draining any human vehicle. You can do that? What? How do I do that? Superb! Where? I can't see, I can't see any. Is that a vehicle there? I can't... Yeah. The humans are making a final push. Wipe them out once and for all. Wait, why is this not? It's the blob. This one just say it's the blob. I don't know why I was trying to take his shields, I just realised I, I had full shields just then. Okay, yeah, I think that works. Perfect. Do you know what, this actually kind of reminds me of, um, should I say, it reminded me of this, but uh, that Man-Eater game with the shark. I like stupid games like this though. They're just they're addictive. <laughs> Here we go, men in black. Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. <laughs> right, good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to Silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. Eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. 
Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. <laughs> the writing is awful, but <laughs> you gotta love its charm. You really do. Mission successful. Completion. 80%. What did I miss? Drown a cow in the lake. Kill the farmer's wife using a chicken. <laughs> Turn to the mothership. Cow mutilation pandemic. Farmer disappears amidst cow abuse allegations. Who is the next Miss Rockwell? Find out on page three. <laughs> I love that image. That's a good wallpaper, that is. Make for a good wallpaper, should I say. Now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet, letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. <laughs> Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted, they represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I don't remember that. That's quite interesting, though. A saucer upgrade, perhaps? No? How about your gun? Or your abilities? Mm -hmm. Alright, what have we got here? Um, what can I upgrade? I think for crypto, there's literally just Zappomatic. Oh no, no, we can't even upgrade any of that. Um, what's on the saucer? Uh, ground burns. I think I might leave that for a while, to be honest. Go to mission select. Okay, yeah, so you can go back and check out the um, check out the areas. Right, we'll do one more mission. <coughs> I think you're going to the suburbs first. So you go from the farm farmland, and then you go to the suburbs, and then you go into the city, I believe. I think I'm still in the farmlands at the moment. Like the small towns outside and stuff. But it is free room, this game. At least I'm sure it is. I'm sure, from what I can remember, I'm sure it's free room. Crypto! I see a horde of humans up ahead, congregating at some sort of holy ground. Here's the plan. I want you to enter the fair, find a malleable human, and lead it back to your ship for questioning. Get the picture? Okay. Gauge turns yellow when, if wind escapes. Activating the correspondent alert level. Okay. Crypto! That human is aware of your presence. The more people become aware of you, the more chance that those human policemen and the military will come to investigate you and take you down. <laughs> Forget. Don't forget to disguise Oh, I know why that car's shaking. <laughs> You're not exactly inconspicuous, it's you know. Outer space. Mm. 
Ah, I don't remember that. Hollow Bob. Now the jewels are ah. disguised. Continue using the cortex scan to maintain the illusion. You wouldn't want to lose concentration while surrounded by enemies. Okay. So how do I do... Ah. The best test of a viable presidential candidate is do I want to invite him over for a barbecue? <laughs> where's like where's the energy for this thing though? What we need is the dumbest, weakest willed, most malleable human we can find. Admittedly, the competition will be fierce. You just have to scan them all. Gary Cooper. That's the lady from the farm That's again. what I call town and country. Yep, this is what I thought my life would be like. Cows, check. Farm, check. Bacon, apple pie, and cookies, check. Okay. I've been thoroughly checked out, so uh, no repeats of lost years. Little ah, here we go. And don't man, oh man, she might be the dumbest Miss Rockwell ever. And check out them cantaloupes. <laughs> God, I love America. <laughs> this human seems to be on to something. Will wonders never cease. Keep scanning the humans. Eat your heart out, Lana Turner. You've got nothing on me. Well, I guess there's nothing wrong with animals peaceably organizing. After all, it is an animal farm. Wow, that seems really stupid, but I'm going to take that one. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, 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 town's doing great, business is booming, hope is on the way, yada, yada, yada. Let's uh, barrel through this puppy so I can get down to the real business of governing. Making time with the delicious Miss Rockwell. Yes, <laughs> yes! Like proteins from the primordial ooze, a pattern is emerging. Scan some more human minds, crypto! Maybe we ought to go organic. Wait a minute, what kind of panko talk is that? We got. That talking horse is the darnest thing. Wonder why our Bessie never talks. Maybe it's only horses that talks and not cows. I'm feeling wild today. Maybe I'll try riding that thing bareback. Oh, here we go. I'm sure these like. I want to marry Miss Rockwell, but instead I gotta sit here hour after hour, day after day. Oh, we need to find this Miss Rockwell. Dying wheel go up and down, round and round, over and over again until somebody dies. Miss Rockwell. Hell of a metaphor. So where is she? Oh, in this tent, I guess. Whoops. Need to cover again. <laughs> That's funny. I'm suddenly overcome with the urge to milk a cow. <laughs> Obsessive compulsive, I think they call it. There we go. Um, Queen! Finally, I was gonna flip my lid if Mama made me take one more slurp of cabbage soup. I want roast chicken. Mmm, chicken of the sea. Or Ch by the sea. <laughs> chicken of the sea. Oh, Jesus. All right, Crypto. I have analyzed all the thoughts you've collected. And I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to probe and vaporize. No. Abduct and bring back to the mothership. My way's more fun. Abduct, not vaporize. <laughs> okay, but humanity ain't gonna annihilate itself, all I'm saying. Can I finish? Can I stop you? As I was saying, the newly crowned Miss Rockwell looks like a prime candidate for testing. She's envied and desired by other humans. She's highly persuadable. Best of all, she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut. Hypnotize her and send her back to your ship for collection. So I... 
Implant a command on a puny human brain. Bend its will to ours. I want to thank all the little people, but there's no time. Gotta go! Oh, so she just needs to follow me then. Smile and wave. Yes, smile and wave. Don't let him see the die job. I wonder if I can use. Exit. I wonder if I can use her to like. Enjoy the fair. Oh, and don't ride the mangler. It's a freaking death trap. Must keep going. Feet killing me. Damn <laughs> heels. Wait, I left my purse in the tent. Seriously, no, we're going. <laughs> I must go to the dark and mysterious woods. There's no reason to be afraid. Nothing bad ever happens to people who go into dark and mysterious woods. Especially not in fairy tales or slasher huh. films. Not that I know what those are. No, nope, nothing to worry about here. No, I don't need to drop it. If they're still going at it in them cars. Wait, where... Where is she? Come on. Well, away. Yes, well, away. Don't let him see the die job. Oh, do I need to actually? What? I'm so confused. Posing as the mayor. Oh, it's an optional objective. Why won't she follow? What if I if I if I just go over here? It's... Crypto, what are you doing? Get back in range! What? Let's wait for the uh, thing to go off. I'm not sure why it's not... Um... So what now? Hurry, Crypto! The authorities are on their way! Get in your saucer! Wreak havoc by using your saucer's abducto beam to levitate a creature or object. Okay. Stop right there, pal! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Can I pick that up? Amazing. Bro, 
American. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. Destroy buildings with an abductor. Sounds like goofy, that is. I'm not sure how he's supposed to actually. How am I supposed to? Six more buildings, should I say? Ah, there we go. Let's use these tanks and cars. Crosshair over. Yeah, there we go. That's it, I think. Oh, no, one more building. There we go. All done. Fair destroyed. I might have a look at a graphics comparison for this in the old game. I, I, I do think it's like a massive step up, but I can't remember exactly how much. But yeah, that's that mission done. Um, uh, disaster at Rockwell Fair. Fairground left in tatters by freak storm. Okay. Um, what does that say? Miss Rockwell committed to Shady Pine Sanitarium. <laughs> May miraculously survives fairground disaster. I'm gonna try and get that as a wallpaper for my computer. I like it. Right. Did you want a saucer upgrade? That's it. Or something a little more personal. I think we'll leave it at that for now, and I'll I'll play some more tomorrow, and I'll play some more um, medium as well. The medium. Um, get two more videos done because I've only recorded one so far, which is the last video to Ari, which will be going live on Monday. Well, yesterday. If you're watching this, <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm gonna switch over to cam zoom. But yeah, if you enjoyed that video, give it a like. Feel free to drop a comment down below. And if you want to see more of my videos, just give me a sub. Just make sure you ding the little bell to get notified when I do upload more content. And uh, yeah, that's it. Sark signed out. Cheers.